continues on Montana's News Station. Hey, welcome back, everyone. I'm joined now by Montana Senator John Tester, as promised. Thank you, sir, for coming in this week. It's great to be here. Thanks for us. having me. Hey, you've had a busy week. You were in Bozeman Monday for yes. the Memorial Day Parade. Yes. And you've been going all around the state. Yes. And let's talk about the Great Outdoors Initiative. Yeah. You were just in the Blackfoot Valley yesterday. Yes. Tell us about... Well, we were in Ovando. Uh, we had uh, uh, Secretary uh, Vilsack from the Department of Agriculture, representatives from the Department of Interior. Uh, and we talked about the great work that's been going on on the ground uh, with, the, with the ranchers, the ranching community, and, and conservationists and recreationists, and really developing a plan for that area uh, so we have a working landscape. So we have creation of good jobs and recreational opportunities and, and good conservation methods. And, and Montana really has been on the cutting edge of it, and I think that's why they came to the state of Montana, to see what we're doing right so they, they can take that and, and, and spread, it, uh, spread it around the country. Uh, it, it's, it, it, was a, it was a time where uh, local people from Montana had a chance to talk to people from the administration, and I thought well, the meeting went very, very well. And as I understand it, the president is hoping really that Montana will be used as an example. Well, I think it's, 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 it's exactly right. I mean, we've, you've got people that come together on the ground in a collaborative effort that don't normally agree with one another and haven't over the last 20 years, and, and they've, they've been able to fend off all these folks that want them to fight and really focus on doing what's best for the land, really focus on best on how to create jobs jobs and, and, and opportunities in recreation and conservation. So, so with the work they've done has not been easy, but it's been very, very good work, and they want to take those ideas back around and spread them throughout the West and the rest of the country. Great. We should point out, too, that if you're interested in Bozeman today, they will, there will be another listing session at 9 a.m. on the MSU campus in the sub ballroom. Hey, as we mentioned, Memorial Day in Bozeman, we had one of the biggest turnouts for our Memorial Day service. You were in the parade. Yes. Let's talk about the um, Veterans History Project. Well, this is a project that that the Library of Congress has, has, has instituted. Uh, I'm working with uh, Lieutenant Governor and, and Marine uh, John Bollinger, uh, and, and we're going out uh, encouraging folks who have stories about their experiences in the battlefield, regardless what war it is, whether it's Afghanistan all the way back to World War II, mm -hmm. uh, and talk about the experiences they've had so they can get it down, uh, get it down so we can pass it on to our kids and grandkids so they can understand the sacrifices that these heroes made for this country. Terrific. I know one veteran we have here in the Gallatin Valley was at Iwo Jima. Yes. Which is incredible. Well, uh, you know, I was uh, after we got done with Bozeman and the, and the great parade they had here, mm -hmm. we went to Billings and talked to a fellow who was uh, on, on the beaches at Normandy the oh third gosh. day after the initial attack. I mean, man, those kind of stories, the stories that he has in his head, we yeah. need to get on tape so we can, uh, we can save them for future generations. Okay, sir, just really quickly, can you give us an update on where we're at with the, your forest bill? Well, it's still in the Energy Committee. We've, uh, we've got the Forest Service on board. Uh, we're working to get the, uh, the members of the Energy Committee on board and I think we're going to. It's just we've got to sell it and we've got to tell them the advantages of it. Uh, once again, like, like uh, the Great Outdoors Initiative, this is a model that I think can be used throughout the West. It, was, it is a collaborative effort. Folks on the ground in Montana got together, didn't always agree with one another, loggers, environmentalists, conservationists, and, and, uh, and recreationists, and, and came up with a plan to manage our national forest here in Montana. And we'll get it out of committee, and we'll hopefully get it passed, and we can start cutting some trees and creating some jobs and, and setting some land aside for folks to hunt and fish on. Okay. Senator John Tester, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're going to take a short break, but be right back with more news and weather right after this.